All right, we're gonna find out who, what this is about here. I called it from the beginning. It was the old guy because you know why? He was the least obvious. Yeah. Not a single fish in the tank. That's what ours looks like. Yeah, that's what ours pretty much looks like. <laughs> the water is like all gross and there's no fish. There are yeah. fish. I mean, we only have right. one filter and the filter's not working. You broke. Yeah. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Wow, look at that. Look at that door. Do not play, that's like, caution. Hey, that's like the house beside my dad's old house. Where there's like all that shit like plastered on every square inch of the house in the garage. Just yeah, like, no trespassing. What are they hiding? No alien transmitters mm -hmm. allowed. Mm -hmm. They're freaks. Hey, it's Joe. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's Eye of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room. Staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Damn, I was ha I was half right. Half right. Half right. We didn't meet his father though, or his son, right? We don't know who that is. No. Okay. Box. Oh God. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoe box. Take it away. Get rid of it. He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? So yes. Either a umbilical cord or <laughs> or the person from uh, Brad Pitt's mother's head or wife's head. Oh yeah, from f what was that? The seven. Seven. That movie upset me. Oh, gas mask. Gas mask. Oh, God, Mitzi, we have to get out of here quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. Poison! Oh, I'm... Wow. I'm slow. So he's... The, the old man's gonna die. Yeah, he should've left. What the hell? Maybe he's so upset that his son should He did be. it anyway. He did it anyway. It's too late! Shit. Oh. Shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. 
What about you? No, no, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. I say give it to Mitzi yes. because I can get back up. Absolutely, we have to convince she her. She doesn't realize it, so yeah, yeah, she nobody knows. Sorry, Mitzi. No, you've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now, do it. She died. Oh boy. She, every time she dies, she yeah. ends up in that weird ass cornfield. I just doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I, logical sense. It detects like I can, I can. Well, she might. You might go right back to that spot. Yeah, you know? Mitzi would die. Die. Yeah, exactly. So the old man, but he's old. He killed he, his father. He said he wouldn't. Yeah, and he, the old man, sacrificed himself. Mitzi did Whoa, too. But back in the apartment again. Uh, do you have options, or is it just that one? No, you'd see it. I see. Okay. Oh, shit. <gasps> is it from the beginning, that yep. freak? Yep, here we go. Oh. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say, and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor and he butchered you like an animal. Then those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you, the way your neighbors laughed at you for years just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet it happened. Am I forgetting something? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You 
always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. What do you think? Well, you know what? There are four candles you see, right? But I think I, I know, but I don't think that's okay. Um, well, that's ridiculous. It comes down to left or right. Or refuse. Uh, sure. Oh my god. You well, she's to... the bitterness and guilt and like yeah, the dark yeah, yeah. side of her. Why don't you refuse? Because why should you, why honestly, should you negotiate with her? I know it's her? like kind of like cliche, but I honestly would pick refuse because yeah, I don't okay. trust this. I never trust yeah, this person right. to begin she's with. The disease. Yeah. I'd be very curious to see what these would do. But, but refuse. Yeah, yes. I agree. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle! It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Oh my god. It was the right thing to do. Oh, she's there. Yeah, she's back. You conquered your you illness. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you. But I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. There's a thing who made the game, by the way. You're... You're the Eye of Adam? A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you... Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Tonight, it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! Mitzi. Where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck? 
fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible! He's lying to us! He's faking it! Do something! Talk for God's sake! I need you to answer me! I need to know! He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? What the... It was mine. Like Stephen Hawking's, but he would never murder anyone. He's my hero. I'm not Hawking. Stephen Hawking's my hero. And he's this guy's just like him though. We meet at last, wow. Well. Killer. How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous! How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. Do it, Mitzi. What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Yeah, the auction tanks will blow up. Yeah. Yeah, say that, say Look that. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I. Don't. Care. Just leave me alone! This really is kind of like Seven. Um, I'm gonna fight it still. Yeah, absolutely. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. Why the hell doesn't you just push him out? This isn't the way into to another do it. room. Just turn the computers and kill off. Him. And turn these computers off instead. Do you think for a second, would Jack really want this? I think. I'll turn off his computers because he can't do anything then. He's I'm gonna powerless. do the third one. That seems more emotionally attached. Okay. Think about it for a second. 
Would Jack really want this? He, this bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. <gasps> well, it might come down to kill him, you know? Without his father, he's harmless. Let's just do this one. Alright. Just not I like the him. computers, because he's helpless Well, We'll computers. probably have to do that, but I want to do the okay. ones that are... Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants us to die, yeah. That's what yes, it is. absolutely. There you go. With the tanks, it's a setup. It's a setup. It's do obvious. It. Tell her. Blind rage. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces! His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. Yeah, here, right? yeah exactly. You know, you know what, what I, I would do? I would take my... Take the butt end of that pistol and whack his eye, or, and then walk out. <laughs> or why couldn't you push him into like five doors yeah. down and shoot him? But the head? we got this person. Yeah. yeah, we got Mitzi. She's ready to shoot the shit She's out of her. Blind with I mean, rage. I could be in that situation. I could think of a couple places. Yeah, because this All is right, a very anyway. everyday normal scenario, yeah, hon. It could be. All right. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. All right. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. They should unplug his computer, by the way. Nah, leave him miserable. He wanted well, to die. Well, he can still make people die that way, He though. wanted to die. That's what he wanted. Yeah, I understand, but now he can continue. Nah. I would have beat him in the face and pulled yeah, out, plugged out his computer. Yeah, I would have just pistol whipped his eyeball. Totally, yeah. And then left. Or killed him where he couldn't blow up the me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. 
I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Well, I, I, I think we got a wonderful ending. Uh, yeah, I I'm wish surprised. Mid, I wish Mitzi wouldn't have died, but we did well, know I mean, that was going to come. She, yeah, she, I kind of forgot about she it. She died though. from the cancer, yeah. I forgot about that. I don't like that, but I think we got the good ending. As far as good ending would be, I mean, I think some other things uh, affected the ending, and I've heard that there are, there are certain things like not letting her have a breakdown at that like oh, chapter three, that yeah. like those things lead to endings that you're not supposed to be able to obtain through a normal first play. So, you know. Well, how many endings are there? Do you know? We'll look around. We, we're gonna have to look this shit yeah, up. Yeah, we will. I'm happy with it, except for that Mitzi Min died. But like I said, that was it's anticipated. Had to yeah, yeah, it's but at least she didn't die in that way. But I tell you what, that was very Seven esque. If people it have watched, was. have seen the movie Seven, I, I shouldn't, shouldn't. I don't want to go any further with we this. We won't. But, we will not spoil seven, yeah. but it did leave you feeling like, oh my god, like and it yeah. was, it was choices and then, yeah. and, and uh, what happens. But you know what? But back to the back to the game, I, I didn't, 
I for some reason never foresaw the Queen of Maggots being just an a, darker, a darker side of yeah an illness. Yeah. I didn't even. I think didn't we think in the beginning she was like a Satan or something? Which like some sort ridiculous of ridiculous because yeah. that's not even a real entity. Well, but like it was within well, herself. Well, is blowing out candles and killing. Uh, that, yeah. that, that whole thing is kind of strange itself. I think maybe. Maybe she was a nurse and she's stuffing up. She's killing people. And she, I, no, no, listen. No, <laughs> the central theme of this game is depression. Well, yeah. She suffered from a crippling depression. I don't know about the otherworldly coming back from death multiple times, but um, she conquered. The, the the biggest part of this was that she conquered her illness and her depression, and it it can always come back. But she said no to it and she wouldn't give in to it. And the ending we got is that she had conquered it and that she smiles and she's helping other people instead of wanting to kill herself or whatever, you know. I think we got the best ending. I, we have to look up the endings and see what all they well, are. Time. But I think we got the best one, honestly. I mean... Well, we got one that I'm satisfied me with. Me too, yeah. I didn't want the Eye of Adam, she's the happy. Creep, creep, to, to do that. And, and it, it's... Uh, no, it was a great game. I loved it. Uh, it, it was, was so a, artistic. Absolutely. Such a different... Press any key to live. Bloody Meow Production